But we see, you know, the experience uh, lead has now dropped, you know, like I said, you know, it takes a really good, you know, team fight to change that experience lead around pretty dang quick, and it's down to 7,000 difference, which isn't as big as it was. Still a pretty big detriment to overcome, but you do that a few more times, and you might just be out of your hole that you've been digging yourself. Uh, but the 13,000 gold, that's going to take a while to get back around here, and I... Oh, we've got uh, top up here. We've got Polywog Priest. Uh, he's probably going to go down here. I don't see that this can go anywhere but bad, but they're doing a nice job of playing defensively. Tundra's sticking around a little too long. He does go ahead and pop uh, Invis, and uh, now he's sitting around here waiting for that ultimate to come up. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Is he going to go ahead and pop it when it comes up here? He might just do it. No, he's not. He's going to go ahead and continue the farm, throw out his piercing shards, and blink up to meet him. So that was interesting, but... Um, yeah, that was actually really nice coverage uh, to save that poly there. I mean, they didn't really throw out much of anything other than just a nuke from Moon Queen. And, um, you know, it managed to save him. Well, the thing about that fight mid, like, they j they were so cocky because it's 2 to 15. Yeah. That Thunder just jumped in. They walked into Moon Queen's ult as well as Polly's and Kronos's, of course. And they just, you know, they paid for it because you can't just... They, they may be down, but, you know, they're kind of cliche, but they're not out yet, and it's not that far along to where they can completely, you know, ignore the, the rules of the rules of Han combat like that and just fucking jump in. and Yeah, you know, it is 25 minutes, and we I've, you know, God forbid this game goes as long as, like, 80 minutes, but, you know, I have been in games that have lasted that long, and, you know, there are some crazy comebacks that happen, so... Um, of course, not going to count the Legion out of this one, but yeah, they did kind of, you know, the Hellborn stepped, <laughs> step, put their own foot in it to say, to say the least. There, as they did jump blatantly into the Legion base, and uh, you know, the Legion was sitting there waiting for it. So uh, good on the Legion to being prepared and pl putting forward a nice defensive game here. Uh, you know, they are turtling, but hey, if you got a turtle to win, that's that's what you got to do. I'd rather win than lose. Yeah. Um yeah, I, that, there was something I was going to say. I kind of Sorry, forgot. Sorry, I, I have that effect on people. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> no, I, I, had I don't. I had on the tip of my tongue, and then I just got speechless. <laughs> yeah, that's the minoxin effect. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, is free either. Yeah. Oh, and we've got uh, Rachna going to go ahead and uh, take down this Congor, it looks like. Uh, do we have... No, we don't have any sight for the Legion, so they don't pretty much know what the Hellborn's up to. They're probably going to get this uncontested as, you know, um, I guess the only sight that they really have is this ward up top here. Uh, so they see there's a region top, but that's about all they got. So, Congor... Taking this time going down, though, Congor, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I guess they do only have three of the Legion... Or, the Hellborn teams here... Or, teammates here that are doing damage to it. And Pink... Where is... Who is Pink, for that matter? Magnus? Oh, he wouldn't matter too much, but... There we go. There's Congor down. And Arachna's gonna go ahead and snag that. So, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to overcome next time. Thankfully, though, like... You know, whenever you come back from token, you don't get, like, all your cooldowns back, too. That would be really annoying, because then she could double ulti. <laughs> but uh, that ultimate being pretty deadly, and, you know, as soon as she hits level 16 here, it's just going to be all that more deadly. So, we're having to see this, uh, I mean, look at this. We've got Demented Shaman basically just sitting in base here, and I don't even know if Hammerstorm's pretty much left either. But um, they're, they're just trying to hang in here. As the you know the experience lead is getting you know it's getting uh, pulled back ahead there they've gotten another thousand experience lead from where they were just a little bit ago Congor playing a big part in that but uh, the gold lead also continuing to expand so we're gonna have to see something pretty major happen here from the Legion side uh, gonna have to be a little bit more gutsy if they're wanting to you know to get back in the game or just you know they're right now they're kind of praying for another mistake on the Hellborn side but I think. You know, maybe the Hellborn got their hand hit hard enough last time when they reached into the cookie jar that uh, they're not going to do it again. Oh, and Tundra blinking right behind the trees. Arachna now blinking in front of him. But uh, Polywog's Priest Striders take effect, so he's going to jet on out of there. But, uh, wow, that's just kind of ridiculous to me, all the, the portal keys. That's just nutty. <laughs> yeah, it makes for um, it makes for some funny team fights when you're just like, oh. And then, you know, three people blink in, and you're just kind of like, oh, well, that... That's that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely entertaining to watch, that's for sure, but uh, we'll have to see how they're going to pan this out. What the hell is Tempest doing over here? Throwing down his meteor to have some fun, I guess, but, uh, hmm. 
I guess he wanted to have vision off over he, the side. Maybe. He's setting up a position for a blink, it looks like. Yeah. Huh. Oh, like middle, we got Moon Queen. Oh, she does have her um, Nullstone finish, and she absorbed the uh, Tundra Ultimate there. Nice honor for doing that. That was a, a nice little pickup there for her. I don't know if Cronus, I haven't been paying attention to their... Oh, and he has Nullstone as well, so we'll have to see what oh, he eats. No. But, oh, the Tempest Ultimate going off. The Magmus Ultimate joining in. Moon Queen's almost dead, but the wards are going to take down Magmus. Moon Queen's still alive. The wards are doing a lot of damage here. They're going to have to be careful. Everyone's still alive on the Legion team. Amazing work there. Uh, Nullstone playing actually a huge part in that as it did eat the Tundra Ultimate. And uh, I, I think that um, Kronos ate the um, the mini stuns from Tempest as well. The, the nuke from him. So very nice as, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Rachna still has her ultimate up. So she didn't burn hers, but, you know, that was that was very big in that, to have those Null Stones to save them from taking that much more damage and keep them from being disabled. Yeah, Hammerstorm had a really clutch stun getting that Tempest, because they could have they could have annihilated those two who got caught in that Tempest ultimate, but t Hammerstorm stopped it, and uh, and and then uh, Kronos got his ultimate off right after that, and the rest is history. Yep, I mean, you know, they they are starting to get to that point to where they can survive these team fights a little bit better. And, you know, Cronus is getting some of his damage built up. He's got a broadsword picked up, so I'm um, imagining he's probably going to go ahead and go that Rune Dex pick up that you were talking about earlier. He's just getting the damage portion of it first here, since he does have the survivability of the Null Stone now, you know, in that mana and HP regen. Um, so that was actually pretty nice, you know. I think that um, they had everything going wrong in that fight, and they still managed to pull out, so... Uh, Good work from the Legion team here as, you know, the experience lead dropped down again, down to a little bit about the 7,000 range, so they're hanging on here. Yeah, and it's not that the Legion is, like, severely, like, bad at farming. Uh, it's just that Hellborn is really farmed <laughs> right now, so it makes them look up. To, uh, Magmus blinking in on Kronos here, just going to just gonna kind of steam bath and... Um, he didn't have any of his allies around, but there might something might happen with this Moon Queen. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I think the problem that we're running into with the Legion is that they have absolutely no map control. You know, the one ward that they had up at the at the river to show them that region rune is gone. You know, the Hellborn are farming the Legion woods. It's just it's out of they've got total domination. This Hellborn team does on the map. So you're forced to turtle. I mean, it's either that or you walk into the woods and you die one by one, and they get that push advantage. So then they're just going to show up and do what they need to do. And Moon Queen pushing out top here. She's going to get caught by uh, Magmus as he comes in. Uh, looks like there was maybe another TP that was supposed to be coming in, but that didn't show up. Moon Queen probably going to... No, her ultimate's up in six seconds, so uh, Magmus got to be careful here so he doesn't eat that ultimate. Uh, there, her ultimate is now up again. So next team fight, we can look forward to seeing that. Or she might just go ahead and try and pick someone off as, the, you know, uh, doing damage to heroes, doing damage to a hero, whether it's in a team fight or not, so... And that might help them with this little bit of a deficit that they're in. Well, a little bit being a lot of it, but not as bad as I've seen. Yeah, she's kind of staring at this top lane, at this Magmus farming. I'm not sure if she's... She, I don't know. They do have this ward. They finally got a ward of sight back up here. They got that, that, that ward that you, I've seen you try and get up there before. So pay attention, Joel. That's how it's done. <laughs> uh, but, uh, they do have that up there so they can see the gank coming from the side. So she's kind of standing in a good spot as far as, you know being relatively defensively positioned, but not being too offensively placed, so she's not going to get caught completely with her pants down. And she did have her teammates there, not too far behind her when they finally showed up, but uh, you got to watch out for that blink from the middle of nowhere, because that's going to be deadly. Oh, and the speaking of blink, there goes Kronos jumping in, and uh, the stun eating up his null stone, so he's going to have to wait 16 seconds before he tries anything else. And we have a um, couple of wards going out here. Nice, uh, nice job also coming out from that Richmond to throw some more wards up to keep sight over this uh, bottom area here. So they're getting some vision on their own side of the map. They're getting some control back. Uh, very nice. It's exactly what the Legion team needed to do to get control back of their side of the map and be able to get back out and do what they need to do. Get get, get out there into their own, you know, get out of their base, basically. Yeah. Yeah, this, um, I don't know, this game's kind of funny. It, it looks, I don't know, a rotten it, though. Picking up, uh, looks like Savage Mace right now. Oh, nope. Polly putting the hex off. Oh, and the ultimate's gonna be used on Polywog Priest. That was kind of silly there. And you know, Magmus coming in with his ultimate, but he dies pretty much instantly. Tempest now dangerously low. Polly's gonna go down here. 
Uh, they better go ahead and get 